Now, it's not a secret that I'm passionate about screenshots and I like knowing what's out there next for me because I'm so efficient with my screenshots that in case I can increase my efficiency, I would take it immediately. And here we are going to test the green shot. I, the last time I used green shot was about two or three years ago before they switched to another tool. So we're going back to it, it's going to be very, very nice. Now. Uh, what am I using this screenshot for? Uh, basically, I create documentation, copy pasting a lot of screenshots. So I needed uh, the screenshot tool to be able to work with a clipboard. I uh, submit screenshots to support requests. So pretty fast and all snapping of whatever I need. I don't need to be preparing for it or anything. And uh, fast response replies, be it emails or social media or whatever, where I can copy paste or upload screenshots from a convenient place. So the screenshot tool needs to be able to do several things and uh, of course we are going to perform the initial configuration of the tool and then we will see how it captures screenshots editing those screenshots exporting and how fast it is in terms of the whole process like and we'll see the extra features because uh, i'd like to record videos and gifs and audio just on demand on ocr but that's optional right we're talking about screenshots mostly now the only thing that we're not going to test is the response to uh, the hotkeys because the hotkeys are uh, just, um, uh, well, they're wired to my own machine, right? So uh, definitely we'll just see what kind of hotkeys are possible, but not how fast they react or what is on there. We'll use the mouse to trigger everything that we need. Okay, fantastic. So uh, this, File manager is a good target for our screenshots. So let's begin. First of all is the initial configuration. So I will open the preferences before I do everything else. And here we have the capture full screen and the capture window. Maybe I can uh, do, and uh, now it requires a note. Okay, so we're not going to use this, the, the capture note. Let's do shift, shift S, no, shift A, no. Okay, out H. Out H for capturing window, maybe it will work for us. Okay, network and updates. Now in terms of capture, it uh, gives us option to capture the mouse pointer, play the camera sound so we will know that the screenshot was captured. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, I'm not going to enable it because it's RDP, but definitely a good feature. Notifications, that one uh, I would turn off because uh, what it means that uh, it would appear, there would be a, a screenshot or a notification in the right side of your screen and you need to wait for it to fade away. Now, sometimes you take screenshots really fast, uh, believe me or not. <laughs> so uh, those notifications are bothering you. Show magnifier, that's cool. Interacture window capture, use interactive window, window capture mode automatically. Internet editor, match the capture size. Now outputs uh, on the desktop, that's fine. File name pattern. Now this is very important in uh, basically giving names to your screenshots is super important and screenshot supports it all for all of those things, including the name of the window. And by default, what it has, it has basically a time, date, and title so they would be organized chronologically now i eventually i replace it image forward png or uh, uh, jpeg uh, it provides the best uh, results and copy the file path to clipboard every time an image is saved this is not very important destination this is what is done when your screenshot is taken so uh, save as is the one, one that's ask you where to save, but we need to save directly. So it goes to the desktop in this uh, specific situation. And, and also open in image editor and copy to clipboard. Okay, now I'm disabling the open an image editor because sometimes you need to take screenshots without editing them and you want to have an option to do it. Uh, unfortunately, there is no image editor uh, short, uh, hotkey that you can use, so you have to actually right click and open it in an image editor. Uh, but then, of course, it will go to your clipboard. So, this is very important. So, when you take a screenshot, it immediately can be pasted into something. And I guess we have WorldPad over here. Yeah, we'll use it for a screenshot capturing. Okay, 
fantastic. So we are almost ready. There is also send to printer, upload to imageur, and no, not important. Printer is not important. There are plugins, and you can, uh, uh, I guess, put more of those. And uh, the expert settings. Okay, so you can, you basically, you can send it to more places. Okay, we are ready. So let's try to capture the window over here. Uh, what it was I did? I did it for Art H, right? Alt H stands for something already, so we cannot really use it. So we will click on it uh, with a left click, and we're going to say capture region. Capture region is super important. Okay, so there we have it. We have a magnifier on the right that shows how precise we are. And we have the resolution here on, on the, in the middle of the screen. And basically, we can go, and if I want to cancel the capture, I click on uh, escape, and there it has it. So. Capture region once more. I'm going to capture this region. And immediately it goes into clipboard. So I can paste it over here. Now, uh, that was pretty fast. Now, another thing, so I'll change the window a little bit, that is important is capture last region. Every screenshot tool should have it. Now, capture last region allows you to, uh, uh, well, sorry, one second. Yeah, it's the, is it different one? Yeah, it's a different one, the different screenshot. So it allows you to capture wizards or multi-screen configurations really, really fast and then uh, deal with the editing. So uh, if you are able to uh, modify your screenshots on the fly or separate the process conveniently, then uh, definitely Capture Rust Vision is a tool that separates between those two. Okay, so capture image full screen, open image from clipboard. This is the editor, okay, and let's make it a little bit more convenient here on our screen. And what we can do, we have basically, we have uh, the region, we can de define the line thickness, uh, shadow or not, uh, color, it's all good. Do we have curved, uh, do we have curved? Uh, what they called uh, curves ed edges on that one? No, we do not. I can use the mouse to drag and drop, and uh, every one of those has a hotkey that would trigger it. So this is a line, and every one of those components has a configuration of its own. This is the error, and pixel size, or the direction, and uh, yeah, those uh, shadows are very, very important. Redrawing, of course, text. Let's see what the text is doing for us. So this is the small text. We can select a bunch of, um, yeah, we can have, uh, select a bunch of stuff over here. And we have the uh, background, foreground, line thickness, the size of the text, and the ability to resize it. So basically, we'll take one of those. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. We can configure left and right. We can, uh, uh, yeah. So this is text that obscures things on screen. There is another way to, to, to do text is by having quotes, okay? And very important for documentation creators, numbering, automatic numbering that goes from right to left. I really like it. Highlighting that doesn't obscure text, blurring on demand, uh very very good actually and then uh, some quick edits so border for example uh if you like to uh, set, well, set borders in your documentation sometimes it's very very useful uh, or torn edge to show that this is not a capture of everything that the student user needs to see so the torn edge goes really long way by explaining that well this is just a fraction instead of explaining it in words you just see the torn edge uh, grayscale and black and white basically uh, invert. Uh, very good, very good. Okay, and this is crop, so we can crop it. So uh, also those are all of the tools that we have. Uh, okay, we have a couple more tools, basically resize and flip and everything else. And I believe okay, you, you can also go to MS Paint. And uh, there should be one more trick up 
its sleeve, if I remember correctly. No, that's the whole editing process. Fantastic. So now you just to maybe save it, and it would uh, try to save it with a new name, and then copy image to clipboard. You paste it here, and there it is. Okay, fantastic. That's good. So this is what the image editor is doing for us in terms of uh, well, uh, convenience, how fast it is. So when your hotkey is working, green shot from experience uh, is, is very fast, but for some reason, when you take a couple of hundred screenshots a day, it becomes slow, even if you are not, uh, even, if, even if you're not uh, doing anything, like not keeping the windows open. And another thing that uh, I had a problem with it in the past is that, uh, well, in terms of the process, right? You take screenshots, but you need to annotate. So then you need to go and edit every screenshot. So instead of a copy to clipboard, okay, I would always use open in image editor and copy to clipboard. And basically what it does for me, let's, uh, let's do, for example, capture region. I'll take one region, and it would be minim and minimize it. I'll take uh, another screenshot, and then I'll have another editor. Did you see they are cascaded? So th then I can go and do uh, those kind of things uh, really, really fast, and then it will go to my clipboard. Same goes for the second screenshot. I'll just remember the hotkeys, then I'll do the text, then whatever, and it goes to clipboard and needs to be saved as well. Right, so when you close it, it will work. it should be asking you to say or not, and it did not say one of those screenshots. Okay, so this was my solution to that kind of problem, but it 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 was an inconvenience. I mean, it depends on the amount of screenshots you're going to take. It doesn't occupy any screen size, which is important. It doesn't need to have a window open on the side. So uh, definitely, I enjoy this tool a lot. Let's just have a last look at it to see uh, if we missed a feature, but I think not. I think all the features are here. Capture full screen, capture window. So the window should be able, uh, the window capture should be able identifying where the window edges are. And for, for some reason it did not work, but there were some configurations for it. Oh, it is capture window. This is why it didn't work. Let me see. So it goes for a full resolution, right? It doesn't recognize the window, but uh, maybe it's related to operating system because it is an RDP, uh, so it's not real desktop. And another thing, probably there were some configurations that I would have to alter. Uh, so it was for window use interactive. Yeah. So now we'll give it a try. There was an alt H and uh, Still doesn't work. Oh, weird, but uh, I know that it worked in the past. Okay, so going back, how good it is. Uh, initial configuration is super intuitive if you know uh, your screenshot tools at least a little bit. Capturing screenshot is convenient, could be better, but still, editing screenshot is convenient, straightforward, just for annotating. Everything that you need is consolidated in one place. There are not many things that you would like to add. There are some uh, variations of editing that you would like to see, but that you probably see in a, an expensive tool or some other tools, but it serves the needs. I delivered trainings used for, for two years using this tool. Speed, very quick. Probably they'll solve the, they solved the issue with the memory or that it becomes slow after a couple hundred screenshots. And it has no extra features, unfortunately. No videos, GIFs, audio, the CR doesn't exist. But a very, very solid tool. I, I would really like to recommend it to anybody that starts for the first time. If you need to create documentation for the very first time in your life and you don't have time to learn the advanced tools, this is the one to use. This is one tool to roll them or you will not have any better experience with fast tools. And believe me, we're going to test those in a few different videos. But you, if you compare all of them, you see that green shot is the fastest prototyping tool, the faster screenshot tool for easy, easy screenshot taking uh, that, you, that you have, but not as advanced as others can be. Uh, and believe me, they can be very advanced. All right, if you like this video, you know what to do. I'll see you in the next.